So not just the highways that are getting busy right now. Nope. So are the airports, including our local terminals. In fact, the Chicago Department of Aviation says this is the busiest Labor Day weekend in history. Sandra Torres shows us the scene at O'Hare. So right now, no major delays or cancellations at O'Hare Airport or Midway Airport, but it was a much different story this morning. There was a brief ground stop due to major storms in the area, but that's all back to normal now. However, that caused several delays, and we met a woman who's traveling to Cleveland, Ohio with her husband and her two dogs. They had a seven-hour delay. We rented a car. Our bags are going to meet us there, and we figure we're just going to make it sooner than our plane. We'll even take off from here. There's no way you could sit here for that long. No, absolutely not. No. And they were traveling with their precious companions, Nitnoy and Bok Choy. That's why they were not able to wait for that long. So that's why they rented a car. Now, if you look at security lines at Terminal 1 early this morning, you can get a sense of just how crowded it got once flights were delayed and canceled. The Chicago Department of Aviation had been preparing for this, saying that between yesterday and next Tuesday, nearly one and a half million passengers are expected here at O'Hare. That's a more than 10% percent increase over last Labor Day weekend. It's one of our busiest days ever in the history of TSA um, since Memorial Day, uh, and we are definitely expecting to see higher volumes this Labor Day holiday across the country versus last year. And the busiest travel day of Labor Day weekend here at O'Hare is expected to be on Monday, and not just here. Midway Airport also expected to be very busy with about 300,000 passengers. Reporting from O'Hare Airport, Sandra Torres, NBC5 News.